journaling. So what am I doing talking to you about journaling in, an arc, uh, in, a, in a market where most people right now are really just focused on making a living? You know, what I find in coaching is that any time that I can help to bring perspective to a client, especially in a frenetic time like we're in right now, very often that's the very best thing that I can bring. And uh, for me, the idea of a, a, a journal, and I'm going to do a little infomercial here on my favorite journal because everybody's got a different approach to this. I'm just going to give you kind of a good look at this. This is a, a beautiful belting leather journal. Note this. It's got the three uh, loops here that allow you to put a pen through it, and then that's what closes the journal, right? So when your pen is in there, that's what closes the journal. And the refill, as you can see here, is actually a uh, spiral bound insert. So you can drop them in, drop them out. I've got a, a shelf full of them back there. Uh, and then the, the constant for me is the actual, you know, leather journal itself. I love the way it I love the way it smells, I love the way it feels, I love the way it looks, I love my journal. I think you need to love your journal and the reason is that in a market like we're in right now, it is critically important to capture your victories. I was reading a book recently called Your 15th Club by a sports psychologist by the name of Bob Rotella and one of the things Bob Rotella talks about in relation to golf is he said, I interview top, produ uh, top producers, <laughs> you can tell where I come from, um, top players and ask them, what shots do you remember from this round of golf? And he said, in many cases, they'll remember, you know, I hit a, th a shot thin and it sculled across the green and I took a double bogey and I missed the cut and I'm heading home early. You know, that's the shot that I remember. He said, with most top players, though, what they'll tell you is they remember their great shots. And w when they remember those great shots, the next time they step up to the ball, that's the tape that they play inside their head. So the last thing they think about is a great shot before they go ahead and make their swing. In the same way, if you start jotting down your victories, the things that you did right, the number of calls that you made, the listing presentation that you went on that was successful, the things that worked. You know, I had a client tell me today that she prioritized time with her 14-year-old at a baseball game uh, over dealing with clients. And she said, you know, I may very well, you know, lose a client or lose a transaction over that, but he'll never forget that I was there. Write it down. Huge victory. So, for those of you that are golfers, I think you get it immediately. You, you know, you step into a bunker and if what you remember is, oh, the last time I was in here it took me three shots to get out, you're probably going to leave it in the bunker. But if you remember, you know what, I hit it, I heard that thump, the ball flew out along with a a big pile of sand and landed softly on the green for an easy tap in. If that's what you remember, the odds are very good that's what you're going to replicate next time. So I want you to be thinking about journaling and begin right now. I mean, begin today. You saw this. Grab whatever you've got around you if you don't have the beautiful belting leather journal yet. Check it out uh, at PLEdesigns.com. PLEdesigns.com. It's my favorite spot. But otherwise, just use a a yellow pad. I don't care. But record your victories because in a market like we're in right now where it seems like every day is a battle, we need to hang on to the good shots. Talk to you next time.